guys so today I'm working on this uh, I think it's a 04 04 Dodge Ram 1500 it's a 5.7 Hemi uh, the customer's concern is that this car while it's driving it shuts off so I'm not sure what's going on uh, he said uh, while it's driving it shuts off and then it starts right back up so what I'm gonna do the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna have my scanner here I didn't hook it up yet I'm gonna hook my scanner up to see what's going on Let me just pop the hood it's a Ram 1500 5.7 so 5.7 Hemi uh, based on what he's saying uh, shuts off while it's driving and he said sometimes it don't even want to move uh, based on my experience these cars have a problem uh, with the throttle body which is right here I did actually change one before on the Dodge Durango same motor so I'm not sure if that's the same problem but the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, run the code see if I have any codes for the throttle body but if it if it's not the throttle body, it could be this ECM right here, which is the computer on the car. So uh, I'm gonna hook my scanner up, uh, see what codes on the computer, and I'll. So the check engine light is on. This car has 258,000 miles, so that's a lot of miles. But uh, it's running fine. The guy said it, it runs really good, but except for that problem, keep shutting off. So, I didn't get to ask the customer if, uh, see this little red light over here? That's a throttle body light. Uh, if the throttle body is giving problems, that, that light's gonna come on. So, and it, I gotta call the guy, ask him if, uh, you know, when when he's driving, if that little red, the little red light com comes on sometime, that's an indication of a bad uh, throttle body. So anyways, I'm uh, running the codes run on the scanner to see what codes are on the computer so right now it's saying one code what is uh, related to the to why the car is 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 turning off not sure So now my scanner is frozen. <laughs> Too much work probably. Okay, so it's working again. So I'm gonna read the code. Uh, the code is not related to why the car is shutting off. It's given a 420, which is a catalytic converter code. So I'll have to do some more digging into this. Uh, I'll have to see if there's any function to activate the throttle body, see if I could open and close it. So, let me see. So let me mess around with this and uh, let you guys know what's going on. There, there is a function of the electronic throttle control system test. So I'm gonna engine must stop for you this test, okay. I actually never did this test before, so every day you learn something new. So I'm gonna let me see how this works. So these options are on the on the scanner is to open and close uh, decrease increase the, the throttle the throttle plate. So uh, what I'm gonna have to do probably is uh, take out the intake, the air intake duct, and uh, activate the throttle body and see if it it works. So that's my next step. By the way, I'm not I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, you know I'm trying to figure out what's what's causing the car to shut off. I'm thinking it's the throttle body, but I have to contact the customer to ask him about the the little red light I showed you guys earlier to see if. Uh, if that light comes on while it's driving, if that light comes on while it's uh, driving the car, while the while the car 
he's claiming the car shuts off sometime it means that the throttle body have a problem so. hey guys so after uh, speaking to the customer uh, ask him a few questions he's saying yes definitely that little light comes on when the car shuts off and sometimes the car don't want to move so it's it's actually uh, you know it, it's actually telling me that the, the throttle body have a problem so I took the cover off the intake duct out that's the intake duct right there there's a plastic cover so I took it out so what I'm gonna try to do on my scanner uh, I'm gonna try to activate the throttle body I don't know if you guys could see that screen so I'm gonna try to there's an option to open it so I'm gonna, gonna hit the open button so what I'm checking to see if the circuit is is, is good so once I hit the open button the circuit uh, this this my scanner is gonna send a signal to the computer the computer is gonna se send a signal to the, to the the throttle body to open it so I'm gonna hit the open and as you can see the the throttle body is opening so it means the circuit is, is complete it's actually making a ticking noise I'm not sure if that's normal I'm gonna increase it I'm gonna increase it Close it, and open it, open it again. So uh, it could be two things causing the car to do that. Well, based on the sign inside, that's a throttle body sign, and there's a problem with it. Could be also the uh, throttle position sensor. Actually, it's a, it's a, the, the pedal actually, the, pe the pedal position sensor. This uh, this car, you know, back in the days, the older cars used to have a cable. And these cars, they don't have cables anymore. They have a, a wiring system. So when you step on the, the gas pedal, the it, when you step on the gas pedal, the it tells you the it sends a message to the ECM, and the ECM sends a message to the throttle body. So the throttle body is going to open and close. The sense it actually happened in a split of a second, very quick. So that's how the system works. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna do a few more tests. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure the problem is the throttle body, but based on what the customer is saying, I'm thinking it's the throttle body because I don't have any codes. But all I know, the system is complete. The circuit is is, is okay because. Hey okay guys, so because I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, if it's a throttle body problem. But based on the customer, the sign he's saying that comes in on the dash, uh, it is a throttle body problem. Uh, I'm gonna, this is my the website I go on. Uh, it actually tells you common problem and failures. Uh, and as you could see, uh, it says throttle body replacement, right? Throttle body replace. Uh, over 3,000 people uh, replaced the, the throttle body on, on this exact car. It says right there, 04 Dodge Ram pickup 5.7. So I'm gonna top fixes over the mileage. So according to this, it says a uh, clean, clean throttle body, replace throttle body. Uh, so based on what the guy is saying, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and, and change the throttle body. Uh, customer is willing to change it. He said, go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So according to my system here, I was doing a little more research, uh, common problems and failures on these cars. And it says engine stall, clean throttle body, uh, P2175 clean, clean throttle body, rough idle, clean throttle body, engine stall at idle, clean throttle body. So the customer's actually stalling out. Um, not, I didn't have any codes for the throttle body. I actually took the throttle body out, it's right here. It's really, really dirty and on the side of it says do not clean so i'm not sure how these people <laughs> you know the system is saying to clean it look again it says uh do not clean that's the old one so i'm not gonna clean that i'm gonna replace it and uh program the throttle body and drive it just drive the car see what happens so this is my new piece Customer give the go ahead to change it. 
So I'm gonna install this, program this baby, test drive the car, see what happens. I also have a new gasket too. So I uh, changed the gasket, this old gasket right here. Uh, put a new, put the new throttle body in. So uh, what I did notice, uh, this is the air intake dog. There's a lot of oil, and uh, so if you look in there. That's the intake air temperature sensor, it's really really dirty, so I'm going to clean it out, make sure this uh, intake is nice and clean. I'm going to use this right here, gum cutter. Hey guys, so after replacing the throttle body, that's a new one right there. Putting everything back together. Now I'm going to go program the, the throttle body. Hit OK. There's a hold down the throttle body. Hold down the accelerator strongly to the floor. Which I'm doing. Hit OK. Release the pedal. Turn the ignition off and then back on. Off. On. Okay. Electronic throttle control learn complete. So I'm gonna go take a test drive now. Hopefully this car don't shut off on me. I think it's good. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go take a spin now. Uh, make sure everything's okay. So after replacing the throttle body, oh my god, after replacing the throttle body, look at that, uh, I'm going to take a spin. Hey guys, so after uh, doing a test drive, uh, car's running okay, it's no issue, it's not shutting off.